Praise God. We want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for another wonderful day that the Lord has given us. 9th of November 2022. It's a blessed Wednesday that the Lord has given us. I know it's by the grace of God we have seen this day again. Welcome as we start our morning prayer. Believing in Christ Jesus is our connection and trusting the presence of the Holy Spirit is our victory. We want to pray now and invite in the Spirit of God to start with us. Dear Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place. Fill our heart and fill this place as we pray and as we worship. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. I want to take you from the book of First Peter, chapter number 2. I will read verse number 9 and 10. And I will read for the glory of God. But you are a chosen people, loyal priesthood, a holy nation, people belonging to God, that you may declare the praise of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received more mercy, but now you have received mercy. This is the promise that God has given us. He said, listen, you are a chosen people. A chosen, a loyal price hold. And apart from that, a holy nation. This morning as you wake up, you should know you are a chosen people. You are a chosen nation. You are a cho- holy nation. Price hold. You know, God has set you aside. He said, at first, you are not a people, but now you are a people of God. At first, you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. What a wonderful message it is, that you had not received mercy before, but now as a child of God, you have received mercy. It means when you are going out, it's not about your strength that will open that door. It's about his mercy that will create that opportunity that will make that door open. It's not about your strength that will defeat your enemy. It's about his mercy that gives us victory to defeat our enemies. It's not about our power, but about his power that comes through his mercy that gives us victory today. And today as you're going out there, it can be in your office, it can be in your school, if you are you're still at school, It can be in your business if you are a business person. I want you to know you are a chosen people. You are a priced hold, a loyal priced hold. The Bible says you are a holy nation. Wherever you go, the holiness of God will be there. And where there is a holiness of God, there is victory. There is cover. There is favor of God. That comes with you. Why? Because you are a chosen one. God has chosen you for one reason. To glorify his holy name. So whatever God is doing for you today. It has got nothing for us to boast. It's about to glorify the name of the Lord this morning. At first we thought we were using our effort. But the Bible says at first you had not received mercy. But now you have received mercy. I know as you are going out there, may the mess of the Lord go with you. If you believe what we are saying, please pick up the number you are seeing on the screen. Call us. We'll be more than happy to come back to you because we believe together we can stop Satan from killing, stealing, and destroying that life. Remember, you are a chosen one. God has chosen you. He died for you. He chose you. In John 15 verse 16, Christ himself said, you did not choose me, but I chose you. I want to thank God for choosing you and make you a holy nation. I see nation comes from you. I see nation comes from your life. I see nation comes out of you. You are creating a new family in Jesus Christ's name. If you believe, I want to pray with you this morning. 
Lord Jesus, I commit your children this morning under your mercy. Yes, Lord, you have chosen them for a reason and for a purpose. Wherever they will go, let your mercy speak for them. Whatever door they are going to knock, let your mercy speak for them. Whatever office they are going to enter, let your mercy speak for them. Whatever situation they are going to face today, let your mercy speak for them. Father, thank you for the testimony and victory that will come out of this prayer. And wherever they will go, I know they are coming back with your testimony. Thank you, Lord, for this victory. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. You are blessed. Kumbugirani. Zabwino. Zigadari. Zigubera. Surely, the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. You are blessed people. Just relax in the precious hand of the Holy Spirit. You are very safe on that hand. See you again tomorrow, the same time in the morning as you start your day with the Lord. God bless you and bye-bye.